Hey guys, John here, Sarah Ritz. Thanks for joining me. We just picked up a collection, I'd like to say small collection, but it was a large collection of um, a lot of uh, vintage, a lot of Dick Tracy stuff, honestly. It was a huge collection of Dick Tracy, some Superman, um, some other random bits and pieces that we picked up. Not my typical action figure collection. There were some of the action figures from the uh, Dick Tracy, um, what's it called, the, the uh, Playmates ones from the 90s. Gentleman had a collection listed online, so I reached out to him, talked to him. Apparently, it was his father's, who was a collector, uh, flea market seller, things like that. So he had a ton of stuff. Um, his basement was full of boxes, floor to ceiling, a lot of uh, Disney stuff. I didn't pick up any of that, uh, but I do have a guy who might be interested in getting that. Uh, Shane, you guys have seen him here before. Um, it's just not something that really fits with my store, and I'm, honestly, you know, it, I have a ton of stuff. Um, so I'll spread the love around. Um, what you see here, we got a. Uh, that's a Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle um, VHS holder from the uh, the original Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle movie. A little bit of everything. I'll go through some of it, um, show you what we got. But let me get this stuff unloaded here and uh, start plugging through it. All right, so this is a lot of Dick Tracy, a lot of Superman stuff. Um, I got it at a decent price. I helped the guy out. He had to get the house cleared out. So um, I figured I'd pick it up. I, I should be able to sell most of it. I haven't even gone through all these boxes yet, and I'm not going to go all through them all right now. I'll, I'll pick through some of them, kind of show you some of the stuff that's on the top. There's some neat stuff. A lot of this is the older Superman stuff. I mean, there's some new stuff, like a mouse pad here, but it's motion. That's pretty cool. You got, like, the Superpowers windsock. I mean, there's a lot of neat little kind of things. Coloring books. There's an older coloring book. And literally, we just, this is all Dick Tracy stuff, this is all Superman stuff. Let's see what we got. Look, here's an old, I don't know what that is. It's just a plastic hollow Superman face. Superman uh, lunchbox ornament. It's a bunch of like these novels. And so why would you put the price tag right over Superman's face? I mean, that's just rude. Come on now. Got a towel, we got like a little puppet in here. And some of this older stuff will sell. Um, it probably takes a little longer. Than the more modern stuff but it's still it's still some neat stuff here not a lot of action figures that i found with the superman stuff i saw one superpowers one but again i really didn't go through any of these boxes so we have that uh view master theater thing what is this okay here is um oh these are just some trading cards that he had so there's, like i said there's a ton of disney stuff there and i'm actually going to go back with uh, shane and we're going to look at the rest of it and i'll uh I'll see if they'll let me do some video inside the building. I didn't even ask last time. I just totally forgot it's actually on me, guys. But to show you what else is there. So as you guys know, I love these old glass cups, the old character cups. So we got some Superman. Um, we got some Looney Tunes. What else is in here? It looks like more Looney Tunes. A Coke can with Pluto on it. Eight seventy-five, probably not. Uh, Harley Davidson beer. But yeah, it looks like um, most of these are Looney Tunes. And that is, who's that? Oh, Jughead Archie. We got your little milk glass one, Milky Mouse. I think that's milk glass, right? I'm sure someone out there knows, and they will correct me if I am incorrect. That's just like a newer mug. So, we got some of the neat, neat older mugs and glasses and stuff in here. Another uh, Archie one. We have some fatalities in there. This is um, more glasses, a lot of the Batman Forever ones and stuff like that. All right, so I had to use two hands to get that glass thing down. I don't want to break it. Um, looks like we have a little display here with some Dick Tracy badges. Um, that one looks like whatever was on it fell off, but that's from the newer movie with Warren Beatty. I guess it's not really newer. It's from what, 90 something, 92, I want to say. Here's an older um, Dick Tracy game. Like I said, this is the most random assortment of Dick Tracy stuff ever. Collectible uh, resin figure there. Dick Tracy meets the Nightcrawler. Some comic books. Um, paperbacks. Oh, these little magnets. Those are pretty cool. So who collects Dick Tracy? Does anybody collect Dick Tracy? I don't think there's that many Dick Tracy collectors out there right now. So there hasn't been any Dick Tracy like media or movies or anything in a while, but I mean, there's some, some cool stuff like this. 
comics. We got all the cups, mugs. I mean, it was just, he collected everything Dick Tracy. And Superman. Then we got some random um, stuff here. So we got like some Scrooge McDuck things from the 80s. Little Orphan Annie. Just a little selection of, um, it's that Professor, I um, can't remember his name. Some Simpsons stuff. There's just a ton of stuff. Now this, how cool is this? It's the power expander. You can work out and be strong, just like Superman. I think it looks like it's never been used. There's some kid that got this for Christmas one year. His parents were like, you're a little chubby, little Johnny. We're gonna give you this. So, merchandising at its finest. So then we got a bunch of these, um, these pins. There's a lot of these. I think there's like six or seven of these little trays. Most of them are just pins. This one here has a, kind of a mix of stuff in it, but there's a lot of the old cereal pins from like the 50s. It's a Dick Tracy thimble. I'm sure there's all kinds of people out there itching for that. Some random knickknack stuff, but then you have some of these uh, cereal pins from the 50s. So he used to do, the father used to do um, flea markets, I guess, at some point. A little R2-D2. There's all kinds of just random stuff. But this is little stuff that we can use. Um, little uh, Barney Rubble, Howdy Doody. I mean, a lot of this stuff's older stuff that I don't think there's as big of a clientele for as the, the 80s era stuff. But like I said, price was right. And... Um, have a little bit of something for everybody. So the Sunday Funnies Dick Tracy game, I mean. Got that. Got a bunch of these little Dick Tracy novels. Now some of this stuff might just go straight on eBay. Um, I don't know how many people are gonna walk in the shop and want Dick Tracy stuff. Let's try to find another Superman box. There were toys. There's a lot of the uh, Dick Tracy Playmates toys in there somewhere. What is this? Oh, it's a Dick Tracy rubber mask. Oh, prune face. That will probably not fit on my head. Will it? Oh, that was wrong. It's flat tab. It kind of fits. Kind of smells bad. Like old rubber. Should probably take it off. I'm breathing in chemicals. Oh, yeah. That's nice. Who tricked or treated? This can barely see out of it. I think my eyes like right there. My other eye is pretty much there, but it does fit me. All right, I'm gonna go back to some more stuff. I'm gonna take this off. All right, that tasted horrible. Mmm. I have the taste of an old rubber mask in my mouth now. And they did a lot of advertising. This movie wasn't like super successful compared to what they thought it was gonna be. One big Tracy, Dick Tracy, Dick Tracy. I'm gonna get flagged. Like they're gonna flag my video because I'm saying Dick Tracy so many times. That's a cool mug. Looks like there's another uh, board game down there. Was it a model? A lot of random uh, Dick Tracy memorabilia that is all kind of um, still sealed. So what caught my attention when I was um, looking was the. Uh, Playmates figures that were all carded. So we got some more of this stuff. This is probably from the 80s. A bunch of Dick Tracy, Dick Tracy hide a key, patrol car, mystery puzzles. I mean, they, man, they marketed him almost as much as they marketed, uh, like Star Wars. So here's some of the figures. I went through it, and obviously, you guys know the one to look for is the blank. But these things are mostly are unpunched. I mean, you have, I think you have everyone but the blank. Um, in here and the blank for those of you who don't know is the one that was Madonna's character Breathless Mahoney was actually the spoiler alert the blank so I mean, we have multiples of these guys but there's probably like 30 of them or something like that I want to say this entire box is full of more Dick Tracy figures so you have Dick Tracy himself you have you know Sam catch them, all of them, all the figures. Just gonna spend some time sorting some uh, Dick Tracy and Superman. This was kind of crazy. It's a sprinkler. So you hook it up to the hose and then just spray water out the top. I'm gonna water the garden at the shop with Superman. An armless Superman. 
Then we have like a Superman cardboard cutout standy type thing, which might end up in the front of the store display. Here's some more Superman stuff. And like I said, there's a lot of just random stuff for all of this. So you have like books on tape. You have Supergirl storybook, McDonald's toys. I mean, it's just a little bit of everything. And I haven't dug through all of this yet to see what's in here. I don't think there's any Superman action figures. I saw one um, Superpowers one that was missing his cape. just a loose figure. But most of the stuff I haven't even, you know, we... They had the, the the father had it on shelves. We kind of oh, see this one I didn't look in because I did not remember seeing this. So there's a couple more superpowers. Another ornament. This looks like a soap bottle or something. Hopefully the other halves in here. Some cups. Oh, some Supergirl trading cards. That's cool. I mean, this is just all Superman books and comics and all kinds of stuff. It's going to... There's old uh, Christopher Reeve. This is just pictures. Yeah, like 1993 calendar jigsaw puzzles. Bop them bag. That's empty. Got some Batman balloons. There's another superpowers. There's a bowl. So just a lot of stuff, guys. And obviously, I'm going to be going through Superman stuff and Dick Tracy stuff for quite some time. And I still, I haven't put the video out yet, but I should put a sneak peek. There's some more stuff back here. Um, got the Dick Tracy game, board game, grooming set. What does a Dick Tracy grooming set entail? You got the watch, you got some aftershave, you have a comb. But yeah, guys, there's just a ton of stuff, statues, games. I'm not going to go through all this right now. So here's where uh, I showed you guys the Dick Tracy collection, but this was all Dick Tracy and Superman stuff back here. But Shane is looking at all the Disney stuff. I don't have room for all this. It's, there's some cool stuff, though. What do you think, Shane? That's cool. Some really cool stuff, you know. It. Some older stuff uh, that goes back to the 70s, um, but there's 130 boxes, I think, and it's Disney. You got. Seems like lots of older candy. You're gonna eat some of this stuff. <laughs> <laughs> there might be more, yeah, because there's stuff upstairs. We got Mickey Mouse. You got Looney Tunes. That one says Vintage Mint on Card Star Wars figures. So oh, no, wait, it doesn't say that. But I mean, you got like this in the box, still 80s era stuff. Yeah, I mean, so when do you see that? Well, that's cool. See, like, that's something I'd throw on the shelf of the store, you know? Yeah, that's cool. So I think you might find some cool stuff in here. See, he's going to find, like, the, the holy grail of Disney stuff. And I'm like, man, I should just bought it all and try to cram it in somewhere. Wait, there's a giant Batman behind him. That's probably from a Robin costume or something. That's neat. So, what are you thinking? You like it? it. So it's, you know. Oh yeah, so some of the stuff is going to be some whammies, I think. Yeah. In Michigan here, those are 10 cents each, so I think you might get some money out of it. Take them, you got to take them somewhere where they don't scan them. <laughs> Alright, so we're going to dig through some more stuff and uh, see if Shane's going to buy it all. I think he should. You got Blondie. Yeah. I think got some old board games up here. If you can uh, go wrong. Alright, I'm going to do a really quick show you guys what else is out here. I'm going to try not to... Oh, you want to be on it? Uh-huh. <laughs> He's a fireman. <laughs> so there's a bunch of random stuff. I mean, you have like Raggedy Ann. A lot of older stuff. Um, but there's also a lot of newer stuff. So you said your father did like toy shows and flea markets and yes. stuff like that? Yep. So a bunch of little bit of everything. But it's, it's everything or nothing. So Shane's going to end up getting it all, I think. I have one of these, found in the 80s house. Uh, you got some Donald Duck. Um, all this is like Goofy, Snow White, um, Looney Tunes. So there's some pretty cool stuff in here. Shane's gonna hate Mickey Mouse. Shane's gonna hate Mickey Mouse when he's done. All right, I'm, I'm standing on the truck. People bring stuff out. This is a nice thing about having a truck. One, you always have to get people to, people always ask you to help them move their stuff. But I get the privilege of standing up here and just packing it, not having to go up 9,000 steps. 
and Shane has his uh, van there. So they made a deal and um, hopefully Shane does well and I think it was a fair fair deal on everything. We'll see what's in all this stuff. Shane's gonna have a, a lot of Disney stuff though. All right guys, so let me know what you guys think about that Disney collection Shane just picked up. Uh, we unloaded everything, he's already started selling it. Um, I'm back here at the shop starting to get more stuff on the shelves, ready to go. Um, I talked to the fire inspector and all that stuff and I, I've ordered all the stuff I'm gonna need for that. But, uh, oh, some, somebody's here, hold on. What are you doing, sir? Why, stop playing with all the toys. It's the fabulous Mr. Foxley, he's playing with Voltron. Let's see, what do we got over here? We got the complete Voltron? Yeah. Wasn't there just a smaller one? Let's see, ooh, there's a smaller one here. We got all the little guys, the cats, Spawn. All right, Brian's playing with all the toys. I gotta get some work done around here. It's hard to do when everyone wants to come and play with all the toys. Just kidding. Sweet, we got a complete Voltron. Yeah, nice. All right, guys, well, I'm going to get back to work. I will catch you on the next one.